All right. I printed this one and I smoothed the surface. So this one is really nice looking little jar, although you can see the print pattern inside. This one is actually, oh, sorry, it has the print pattern here too. Uh, this jar is actually, let me share my screen. This one, this one I'm gonna print this now. This one is from this book. Uh, which is published in 1966 uh, about Korean ceramics. And uh, it was just printed nicely. And today I wanna print this one, another jar, which is also called, uh, I think it often called Moon Jar or also called Baek Uh I believe this one is from a uh, Cleveland Art Museum. Uh, Museum of Art, I think. Uh, then uh, I'm gonna make the print. So first of all, I'm gonna stop share my screen. This one is already set. Uh, so uh, we can just flush a little bit of filament. Um, I'm just using this cake server and you can see the clay is coming through. And I have the prepared. <coughs> Play load clay and I'm going to set the print and uh, I will show you how you can actually prepare some clay as well. Then let's start print. Oops, I forgot to do that. The, the set the <clears throat> The correct height for the, uh, the nozzle. Right. I set the two layer at the bottom. So it'll be fine, but uh, as it has a little overhang at the bottom, so I'm just paying attention to the design. Something like this one too, uh, because it's a little overhang, so uh, just, just I like to pay attention to uh, the, the first uh, layers here. So, and also I'm gonna put it on the side, I, I don't wanna break it. I don't think, yeah, I'm gonna just put it outside of the frame. Yep, this one's going uh, up. And it will take approximately uh, 27 minutes left. Uh, also, I intentionally set it a little slow, so it's not gonna be print too fast. And also uh, the, the wall thickness will be just good enough. During that time, as I mentioned, uh, I can sh share how you can uh, prepare some clay. I uh, prepared some clay. Well, simply this one is just a chunk of uh, mid-range uh, porcelain clay. What I did is I soak it under water and it's, it's very soft. So um, you can use, I like to use this uh, spreader. And when you touch it, you can feel it's very soft so uh, what you can do is you can actually just wedge it here like this or if you want to make it uh, faster what you can do is add this little plastic seat little bit of clay. And like you just wet it here. If necessary, spray some water, I think. <clears throat> this is soft, but I want it a little bit softer. So I'm gonna put my laptop. I don't wanna put any water or clay here. <clears throat> then, Probably need to get a better uh, video soon, but I'm gonna just 
20, I'm going to do a little bit. Uh, maybe you can see they're a little overhang, so I'm going to use two Keep on that on the house. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, make sure I don't use it too much. Because if you use it too much, it will dry too fast and then your piece could warp or start cracking. So in my case, I'm going to try to use it around the bottom so as the before layers goes it's not gonna be sad collapse it will be fine but I will just do a little bit more on this bottom because this bottom should support all the the weight on top of the, uh, the feature, uh, the, the, the weight of the feature layers. Not like it, because if you're throwing uh, something like this over, then it will be completely fine. But as we are going to do the same thing, uh, this over here could cause Something. All I like to do is actually I like to do it in the container, but uh, I don't have the large, not really large, you know, I'm not a container, so I'm just doing it like this. But uh, actually what you can do is you can put it in the container and you can just wet it here. Yeah, actually I'm gonna put it back. The benefit of doing this one is it's really fast, but uh, this one is not gonna really keep the clay wet. So, like this, some more water. So, if you can spray it, that's good too. Just do it. Breaking the clay. So I think I have a little too much water, but later I can drain the water. And by the way, so far this one's going well. One and then uh, if this one is successfully printed, uh, probably I'm going to start uh, with a bigger one. Personally, I don't like to use any special recipe for clay because uh, I don't have any clay mixing. So, yeah, oops. I got some clay on my laptop. But yeah, I don't use any special recipe because I don't have um, ceramic mixing use. So I just fire wet clay and then just prepare it by hand. Yeah, it's by hand. I'm just using like cube spreader. Take some whatever tools, schedule as well. I think I 
So keep under water overnight, but I think it needs to take some more water in it so I can. Hmm. I think because the bottom layers are really supporting well. Uh, but just in case, I'm going to have it so. Yeah. Keep calm about the bottom layers. That's almost one third done. Any other work or printing, uh, you should be yeah, always be patient. Let's just do it on this side. Let's just break the play. Maybe I need to get a better picture. <clears throat> So I'm just kind of As you can see, you still see some chunks. Consistency is important, so make sure you don't get any big shots. Or if you let it sit a little bit, it's okay. Go for a little bit.
uh, almost halfway done. <clears throat> Just in case, I'm gonna do a little bit more heat gun. I think this will be fine though. Okay, one minute too much. Just a minute. And make sure you are not just hitting the print with the heat gun when you move it. <clears throat> because I know because I've done that. Sometimes I hit the, the print of the platform, so like it just picks up some wiggle or some like has some texture in the design. Sometimes you can use it as a part of the design. Sometimes I when I do shaking it, I hit the piece. So something like that happens. So be careful with those any some accidents. And you need to just keep moving it around. So the one part is not gonna dry too fast and uh, start warping. See, I just hit the camera. This end is really hot, so make sure you're not touching it. All right, uh, approximately 13 minutes, 30 seconds left. All right, uh, I just took short, some short process video. Next one, I'll do some open play. Probably for now, I'm going to pause video um, and I will get a better angle for like showing how I uh, prepare the clay and uh, reload the, the extruder. <clears throat> 